Hello YouTube. This is a video on how to install sequential indicators uh, like the new Audis and most of the new cars have um, on a motorcycle. Uh, this bike is a Suzuki GSX650 um, but pretty much you can install it on any bike. Um, so basically these are the sequential indicators that I've got. It's also got a rear um, I don't know what you'd call it, side light on the back, which I haven't wired up yet. Um, when I finish this video, I'll sh hopefully have it fully working. So basically you can buy these adapters um, and then they plug into the main bike harness. Again, for different bikes, you've got different connections, but this is just specific to Suzuki bikes. Um, and these are the original indicators that I have on the bike and these are the ones I'm going to put on so you can see it's a bit more better a bit more visible um, basically the problem that I've been having with the indicators is this basically as you can see not really much happening there um, they're supposed to strobe you'll see later on um, so what I've done is basically gone on eBay Amazon and all of that and they have these resistors don't waste your money on these they do not work um, this one you basically you've got a male and female on one end and a male and female the other end and you literally all you do is you go from male from one side to female on the other and again, male from one side, female on the other. Doesn't matter which way around you put it, it doesn't actually work. Um, I paid seven pounds for these. And again, waste of money. Um, these ones I bought as well. These ones you can install sequentially or parallel. It literally doesn't make any difference. So you literally just go from there to there. It won't make any difference from plus to minus. Won't any, make any difference on earth. So at the moment, I have that happening so I've basically done a lot of checking and the only thing I can find is an actual LED relay um, on this specific bike the relay is located here on the fuse panel and this one here is the um, indicator relay there's loads of relays there's another one there another one there another one there and the main bike fuse is here so at the moment as you can see on the back it's flashing for this one but obviously I want to change it to them ones so what basically I have found is a main indicator relay uh, this is a seven pin again it's specific to Suzuki's um, and you can fit it and hopefully it will cure my problem Okay, so I've unplugged the original indicator, just got a little 13mm screw on the back and just change it. You might have to buy some of these spaces, let me get a better picture of them, some of them. So these were the original spaces that I got, they won't work with these indicators. I had to buy um, some aftermarket ones. I don't know if you can see it just in there. Um, if you plug the indicator on it and it doesn't work, uh, you've got a plus and a minus. All you need to do is switch around these two wires. Uh, this wire is for the side light. So I've switched it around and as you can see, it's still not working. But I'm just gonna swap the relay. So the relay lives just here. You just gotta pry it out. You've got a little clip there, pull it up and then pry out the relay. Okay, so we swap that relay. So now just gonna turn the bike off. So we put in this is the LED relay. Put it in. Turn the ignition on, let's see what happens now. So that's how it should be. As you can see, it now strobes as it should be. And 
that's basically it. Um, I've done a few other upgrades like LED headlights, LED side lights, and I've had the bike remapped as well. The ECU just sitting there. Um, anyway, I hope this video has helped anyone who's trying to install these sequential LED indicators. I'll finish the video with it fully working with the side light as well. Okay, I've waited till it's gone a bit dark now to show you another sequential indicator. So these ones I've, um, I've only actually seen these two uh, for sale on eBay. Um, these ones have apparently have got built-in resistors but again they didn't work without the additional relay. So this one I'll show you how it works. So, put that on, on. so these ones I don't know how well it's showing up but the end four indicator well LEDs aren't lighting up um, but the rest of them are but these ones are quite skinny compared to them ones so I prefer the bigger indicators um, and now I'll show you the full effect okay this is it fully wired up now uh, there's a small blue LED on the back I thought it'd actually be brighter than that but unfortunately it's not so uh, these are the indicators just put the other side on and again you've got a little blue basically that um, just so you know um, I've had to take a wire um, this one's black and orange on this Suzuki so basically I had to find the wire that come on with uh, ignition so I've got one of these probes and then all I did is just start poking it everywhere till I found one that actually shuts off with the uh, main bike indicator well main bike power there you go um, and with all the side lights and everything that's just to run the side lights and then I've run one wire to the front and one wire to the back so that's the back wire this is the front wire I've tied it all up um, and that's basically it.